to my channel and to a new video. I hope you're all well and having a lovely week. Um, today I have another haul for you. This channel's been a bit haul heavy over the last couple of weeks, but there's lots of cleaning, organisation and decoration to come over the coming weeks. Um, but today's a really exciting one. So the lovely people at Cherries got in touch with me and asked if I would like to collaborate on this video, which I obviously said yes to. I have shopped at Cherries a number of times before. I've done one previous collaboration, but I've also shopped with them just myself because um, I needed stuff and they're a really handy company to shop with. So they do all sorts from just household goods to gifts, to kids stuff, to stationery, pet stuff, um, hair and body, food, garden, you name it, they do it. And it's all incredibly good value. Um, and yeah, most things are under a fiver and you can get it delivered to your house within two to three days. Um, you just go onto the app and then you just shop via the app, which is really, really useful. So if you haven't shopped with them before, they are offering me a 20% discount to anybody who makes their first purchase. Um, I will leave all the details below and also um, your code that you need, which is Clark Life 20, I believe. Um, but I'll put it all below um, and you can obviously go on and buy some things for yourself. And yeah, they have just about everything you could possibly need for day-to-day -day life. So I'm gonna go through the box now and show you what I bought. Okay, first of all, I got some um, stationary bits and pieces. Um, these ones were for Phoebe and they are these little tiny canvases. They're very cute. Um, she loves doing arts and crafts. She makes, I mean, you've seen that she's totally into fidget toys if you've watched my videos before, um, but she also loves making stuff. Um, she's currently into these um, clay bracelets, clay bead bracelets that you can make. It's all on TikTok apparently. Um, but she also loves painting and drawing um, and um, I'm more than happy for her to spend her time making stuff. Um, she's got a little gem thing and so she, I think she would love to like stick gems on here and make little pictures and she makes them for her friends. Um, so these are £1.50 for four tiny canvases. They're just seven by seven centimetres. They're really little um, but perfect for a little craft for her. The next up I got um, these A4 punch pockets. Um, we use them for all sorts of things. Obviously the kids use them for school, um, taking things in that they've done at home, um, but also we use them for putting um, uh, Lego instructions in for our little Lego business that we have. Um, so these are super useful. We get through them quite quickly. Um, there are 50 in the pack and they were £1.50 as well. Then next up, um, more stationery. I also bought this little pocket A6 notebook. Um, I did buy it for me. However, Archie was literally just in, um, come upstairs to ask me yesterday if I had any notebooks, any spare ones, because he's bought himself like a course, or it's a, it's, it's, it's subscription to a website that has co like hundreds and hundreds of courses on it. Um, he had intended to, oh, it's a funny story. He had only intended to buy a month's trial or buy one month of the thing. And he ended up spending his entire earnings from work on a year's subscription for this thing um, but rather than try and get a refund he's decided he'll make the most of it and do the courses um, so he wanted um, to buy a little notebook so he's got this one it's only a little a6 one so it's fine um, for what he needs it for and this was £1.50 as well and it's quite good it's all lined and then it's got the little dividers down the side so he can have one for each of the different courses that he does so I'm going to give that one to him these are quite an exciting purchase. <laughs> Probably not entirely exciting because they're just scissors. However, scissors are like flipping gold dust in this house. You cannot find a pair of scissors full up, not money, whenever we need a pair. Um, they are supposed to be kept in the kitchen drawer. I almost dread opening the drawer to look for them when I need them because I know they're not gonna be there. Um, they're always in some other place in the house. So I bought two more pairs. So I bought a pair in Aldi, which were just like these ones, um, exactly the same color and everything. Um, but this, this set has got a little um, sort of crafty pair as well. I have a funny feeling they're gonna end up in Phoebe's bedroom, um, but I don't really need those ones. I need these ones <laughs> in the kitchen. So I got these two pairs and they were £1.50 as well. Um, and they will come in super useful. And next up, I got this, which I've seen all over the place recently. Um, and I've seen people use them and I've never used one. It's this fridge organizer, which extends, there we go, it extends so you can have it big like that or you can have it small and it goes under your shelf in the fridge. 
and I guess I think you're supposed to put like fruit and veg and things like that in there and I actually thought it would be really good for our um, grapes and strawberries which we use quite a bit and I think probably we'll keep them fresher than um, keeping them in the packet and we just shove them in those big drawers at the bottom. So I thought I would give this a go. This was £2.50 and um, yeah, I'm hoping that it will be really useful in our fridge and maybe save a bit of space as well because the big packets of grapes and strawberries take up so much room in the drawer um, and I end up not being able to fit in the other things that we need. So hopefully this will be useful. Um, and as I say, that was £2.50. Right, what's next in the box? Okay, this is a very practical haul, by the way. <laughs> so I picked up this, which is a grout pen. Uh, this was two pounds. Um, so it's supposed to obviously refresh discolored grout. Um, I think I mentioned before, we've got some quite discolored grout in our shower, um, in our ensuite. Um, I've, when I see people decorating now, redecorating the houses and they use gray grout, I think that is just inspired. <laughs> like, why didn't I think to use gray grout? Because it doesn't discolour and um, keeps your tiles looking nice and new all the time. So anyway, we've got this. Andrew bought one once before and used it and it worked wonders, but obviously it doesn't last forever. So um, I thought I would give this a go. It's by block, um, it covers up to 50 metres, so I shouldn't need that much. So hopefully it will give our tiles in our shower a bit of a new lease of life. And then I also bought, to go along with it, this tile and grout super scrubber. It looks a bit like a magic eraser, and I'm not sure whether it is. Let's have a in fact, why don't we open it and have a look? This was just 90p. It is. It's just a magic eraser. Oh well, I mean, you can never have enough magic erasers, but it isn't. I thought it was going to be something different, um, but that's interesting. I can actually, uh, yeah, repackage things. <laughs> but it is basically a magic eraser. Well, this, as I say, it will come in super useful because I use magic erasers around the home all the time. And I hadn't actually thought about using them on our tiles or on the grout. So I might give it, give it a go. Um, obviously it says that it makes the grout look like new, so I won't need the pen if this works, um, but perhaps this and the pen together will give us an ensuite that looks like new. Next up, I got some new Zaflora. Um, I use this more probably at this time of year than any other time of year, um, because I don't use it for cleaning as such, but I do use it for making the bathrooms and the kitchen smell nice after I've cleaned it. Um, and this is my favorite one, which is the Cranberry and Orange. Um, is it gonna focus? I mean, you've seen Zaflora before, does it matter? There we go. Um, so this is my favorite. I bought the Cinnamon one. Is it called, just called Cinnamon? Warm cinnamon, I think it's cinnamon, I think it's called last year. And I wasn't that keen on it actually. When I first put it down, it smelled really nice, but then it just smelled like a Chinese restaurant after that. I don't know why, I mean, obviously in Chinese food, you quite often use cinnamon, I know that maybe that was why, but it just didn't, didn't smell that nice afterwards. So this cranberry and orange one is a much better one, especially at this time of year. So I picked up that and that was £1.15 and that's just for the small bottle. Then I picked up some fairy washing up liquid. We get through this quite quickly, actually. Um, we've got a dishmatic, which I've got some refills for that in a minute, um, which we use. So we put this in the dishmatic and then also in the water when we're doing a big wash up. Um, but um, I've not seen the white one before. I don't know. Oh, I think it's just not English. That's why it's white. <laughs> I've not seen the white one in the shops, but it looks, it's just a citrus scent. Um, and this one was just a pound for that. Right, next up is actually an error. I had thought I was purchasing um, the eco egg, like the dryer egg that uh, you put into your tumble dryer and it makes your, um, it makes your wash, tumble drying your clothes more economic and it makes them dry quicker. I didn't. I bought the fragrance sticks that go inside the dryer egg. <laughs> So that was a mistake. I mean, I'm gonna have, I'll just go out and buy an egg. I probably, I think you can get them in B&M, so I will go and get one at some point. And then I've got the fragrance sticks to go inside, um, which is fine. But yeah, I did intend to buy the egg and I don't know why I didn't, I think I got confused. Um, but anyway, I think these dry eggs are supposed to be really good. I've never used them. If you have, can you comment down below and tell me if they're, if they're actually as good as they say they are? Um, because I do use my tumble dryer a lot. I do try and um, in the summer months, I hang up my washing outside in the garden as much as I can, um, but it, it's quite time consuming, isn't it? Constantly like going in, 
going to the garden, hanging stuff up, waiting for it to dry, bringing it in, um, and I can't get through as many washes a day as I need to. So um, I thought this would be the next best thing, certainly in the winter months anyway, when I can't hang stuff up, is to use the drier eggs to try and be a little bit more ecological and economical. Um, so yeah, if you've used one before, let me know if they work, and I'm gonna go and buy one anyway, and then I've got the fragrance sticks to go inside it. Um, these sticks, by the way, were £4.95, for a set of four sticks. Next up, I bought some um, like um, highlighter <laughs> for me. It's the NYX uh, Away We Glow Liquid Booster. Um, and I thought I would give that a go. I have got some highlighter that I got from Avon, I think, when I worked with Avon. Um, but I've never tried a liquid highlighter before and I thought this was a perfect opportunity to give it a go. So I got that and it was £4 for this little pot. Um, so I'm looking forward to giving that a go. Next up, I got two pairs of two packs of socks. So um, Andrew has been moaning at me on a daily basis that he doesn't have enough socks. I've been telling him all he needs to do is go out and buy himself some socks. Um, it's not hard. Um, but you know what men are like. <laughs> so um, I keep meaning to get some uh, when I'm at Tesco and then forgetting. So when I saw these in the, um, on the app, I thought I would get them for him. So I actually got two lots. So he can't moan at me anymore that he hasn't got any socks. There are six pairs. There's a gray and a white and a black in each. And these were two pound each. Um, so four pound for six pairs of socks. So hopefully that will uh, keep him happy for a bit longer. It wouldn't be a haul of mine if I didn't buy skinny whips. Um, I have run out of these, so I got some. Um, these are pounds, so the same as you get them in um, Poundland or B&M. And these are my favorites, which are the toffee flavor, and they are 99 calories or less than 99 calories and super tasty and great with a cup of tea. So um, after I film this, I may well have one with my cup of tea. Next up, I got some of this, which sounds really nice. So it is the Skinny Syrup Zero Calorie Salted Caramel Syrup with sweetener. Um, I'm sure this stuff is no good for you. <laughs> um, I know artificial sweeteners aren't supposed to be great, um, but this I like. I love to have caramel syrup with banana and a Biscoff biscuit scrum um, crumpled on top of ice cream. That's my cheeky um, evening snack occasionally. I try not to have that every day. Um, but I thought well, rather than using caramel sauce, if I used a skinny syrup on top, that might be a little bit better. Uh, so I think you can also use it in like coffees and all sorts of hot chocolate. Um, yeah, it says pancakes, ice cream, yogurt, fruit, coffee. So um, it's got lots of uses. Um, actually quite nice, might be quite nice in a coffee. Maybe I'll have that later with my skinny whip. Um, so yeah, I got some of that and um, I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to try it. And that was just um, two pounds for the skinny syrup. Coming towards the end of my goodies. This, these are, this is like kryptonite. <laughs> Anyone else love these? I have got myself into a really bad habit. Um, now, before I did Weight Watchers a couple of years ago, I had this habit of snacking while I cook. Um, I have a glass of wine and a bowl of some sort of snack while I cook, and it's become a habit. And this is the sort of things that you have to break when you try to lose weight, is these habits that you associate with certain times of the day. So having a coffee and, and a chocolate bar, or whenever I go on the train, if I'm going up to London, I'll buy a Starbucks on the way and a, and a granola bar. Um, I have certain things, and we all do it, I think, have certain little habits. And my habit at the moment while I cook is pretzels and a glass of wine. Um, really, really bad habit because I'm never really that hungry when we sit down and eat dinner because I've stuffed my face with these. However, they're so nice, so nice. They were a pound. I always get these in my Tesco shop. Um, perhaps I need to stop buying them, <laughs> um, but they're really nice. So, uh, so yeah, at some point over the next month or so, I'm gonna try and cut that out, but I'm not ready yet. So I'm gonna enjoy these um, and yeah, they'll be in a little bowl next to me while I'm cooking dinner tonight. And then last of all is the thing I alluded to earlier, which is the dis Dishmatics um, refills. These, um, I can't remember how much they were. I'm sorry, I'm just looking on the app down here to 
see and they're not on my list for some reason i think they were a pound and something um but they're not on my list for some reason um but yes i needed some dishmatic refills so we use these for our washing up i find them so useful the dishmatic more for if you've just got like one thing to wash up i don't like having piles of washing up on the side and if you've just got one thing you could just run the hot tap for a couple of seconds and fill the cup or the pan or whatever it is you need to wash and then use the dishmatic which has got all the fairy liquid in the handle to just give it a, a scrub and then rinse it off and it's done rather than filling a whole tub of water with fairy liquid um and then not needing it so um so yeah we use that and i also use one of these for cleaning our bathrooms it's great for cleaning the showers um and around the sinks and it gets all the nooks and crannies and stuff so i love these um, so yeah, I just bought some refills. So I'll, a couple of these will go in this kitchen, under the kitchen sink, and one will go in the utility room for the bathroom one. And that is everything I got from Cherries. Um, so if you haven't looked at, at the Cherries app before, give them a go, go and have a look, see if you find anything that you need or that you like. You might find that you can get some things cheaper on there um, than um, your other shops. And it's great because it just gets delivered to your door, which is nice and handy. Um, and it's always nice having parcels come in the post, even if they're, just everyday items i think it's always nice to have something in the post um and yeah you can get 20 percent off if you've not used them before by using my code and the link down below um so i hope you enjoyed this haul if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you've not already and i look forward to seeing you next time mm -hmm.